So a manufacturing company that produces a single product has provided the following data concerning its most recent month of operations. So in here, we do not have a beginning inventory. And then now we prepare the variable and absorption costing statements of this problem. Now I will give you time to pause for a while and try to answer this on your own. And we will answer this. We will answer this. So pause for a while so that you can answer it on your own. Now, I have transferred the information in in Microsoft Excel so that we can answer it. Let us answer this problem. Now, we present first the statements on, var on variable costing approach. So, variable costing statement. So, we can put the heading, X company, income statement, variable approach for the period ended. Now we start with we start with sales. How much would be the sales figure? That would be the selling price multiplied by the unit sold. So you have 1.4 million now less contribution margin. How do you compute for the contribution margin? You consider the variable costs per unit. So we have now the production costs of how much that would be we would total direct materials direct labor and variable manufacturing overhead that would be your production cost per unit and we will multiply that with the unit sold of 7000 we would also consider selling and admin expense that would be seven pesos per unit multiplied by the unit sold of seven thousand so that would be your total total less i mean this should be variable costs so that would be your total variable costs now we would go we would have our contribution margin of how much that would be 1.4 million less 658,000 now we would deduct fixed costs that would be your manufacturing overhead and your selling and admin expense that we already have them here 170,400 and 7,000 for a total of 177,400 now we will have our net profit of so 742 minus 177,400 564,600 so that is our net profit in the variable costing approach of presenting the income statement now we go with absorption approach So for the absorption costing statement, we start similarly with sales of how much? 1,400,000 still. Now we deduct cost of goods sold. So how much would that be? Let's compute for cost of goods sold. How? We start with the variable costs that we have so we have direct materials direct labor variable manufacturing overhead of how much we are already included here now we have our fixed manufacturing overhead how do we how do we consider now this total cost we need to allocate it so the total fixed manufacturing overhead of 170,400 should be allocated to all units produced how many units were produced that is 7,100 so that is your fixed manufacturing overhead 
per unit of 170,400 divided by 7,100. So now that is your cost per unit. If we total this all, then we will multiply that with the unit sold of 7,000. That is your cost of good sold. So that is 111 multiplied by 7,000. Then we would we would deduct that with sales. You will get gross profit of how much? 1.4 million minus 777,000. Then we will deduct selling and admin expense. So that is variable and fixed. The variable selling and admin expense will still be 7,000 multiplied by 7 pesos per unit, 49,000 still. And for the fixed selling and admin expense, that would still be 7,000. For a total of 56,000. Now you have your net profit of how much? 623 minus 56,000. 567,000. Notice that the income under absorption costing is higher than variable costing. Now, what is the only item that that is different from this two? The recognition of factory overhead. The fixed component of factory overhead. Now, as mentioned, uh, you would have your you would have this difference also on your inventoryable cost, meaning the inventory costs under absorption absorption statement would still be higher than variable costing statement. How much would be your uh, inventory cost per unit for variable variable costing statement? That would be the direct materials, direct labor, and variable manufacturing overhead only. That is thirty three. 53 and 1 peso for a total of 87 pesos. So your inventory cost for uh, ending inventory for for variable approach would be 87 multiplied by units in ending inventory of 100 while for absorption that would be we have already solved the cost per unit of 111 for absorption multiplied by 100 units that is your ending inventory notice that the difference in inventory is how much 11100 minus 8700 2400 that is also the difference in income of both approaches so meaning the difference of 2400 on the income under absorption and variable statement has actually been uh, capitalized as part of the ending inventory ultimately that cost would be uh, would be recognized as part of the cost of goods sold when when the product is when the product is sold because it is a product cost as mentioned the uh, the recognition of these items as an expense is linked directly towards the exit of the product from the company. So when the item is sold, that would be recognized as an expense. What if we have a beginning inventory? We need to identify the cost of the beginning inventory first. So that would be uh, discussed on another on another problem so this actually ends our discussion for variable costing statements